All right, gang, we're back for another WWE Week in Review. Um, this week ending September 13th, 2024. I'm going to start off with Raw on September 9th, 2024, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Um, it starts off with a eight-man street fight, American Alpha. No, American Made versus the Wyatt Six. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I wasn't real thrilled with this match. I don't know why we're burying Chad Gable with this. It's fucking stupid. I don't like this shit. One Meltzer won the wide 6 1, of course, because it was a handicap match, apparently. It was supposed to be an eight, eight man and then turns into a nine person. Because, you know, Uncle Howard. I mean, I guess it's, it was a street fight, but who gives a shit? Uh, I'm not. Like I said, one Meltzer. Finn Balor comes to the ring, cuts a promo, calls out Damian Priest. Priest comes out. Judgment Day attacks him, of course. And then Rhea comes out with the crutch and is hitting Don with the crutch. And then they get the better of that. And they beat the shit out of them, too. And Jey Uso comes down with a chair to save them. And the rest of the Judgment, the judgment Day scatters. Uh, women's tag team title match. Uh, Bianca and Jay defend against... Isla Dawn and Alba Fire, Bianca and Jade win. Five Meltzers. Uh, Bret Hart comes to the ring while he's talking about Calgary and this and that. And um, Gunther comes down, talks some shit, tells Bret Hart how he's his second favorite wrestler ever, his favorite being Bill Goldberg. He's roasting Bret Hart. And then Sami Zayn comes to the ring. So to help Bret Hart and and then he still turns down Sami Zayn's challenge. Uh, Sammy and Gunther fight and then the rest break it up. Drew McIntyre comes to the ring, runs his mouth, this and that. Uh, and Adam Pierce comes down, and tells him, "Well, there's going to be another match between you and Punk, and it's going to be at Hell in, or at Bad Blood, and it's going to be Hell in a Cell." Rey Mysterio versus Finn Balor. Um, Rey Mysterio wins by DQ. Then we had the Fatal 4-Way number one contenders match for the Intercontinental title. Uh, Pete Dunn, Ilya Dragunov, Ron Strowman, and Jey Uso in this Fatal 4-Way. Of course, Jey Uso won, which I I think the whole world assumed. Ron Reed takes out uh, Braun Strowman, jumps off of the, the barricade and you know lands on. The, he goes, it's like, kind of like a high cross body. Oh, that big splash. Eight Meltzers. Eight. All right. Down to the next. September 10th, we got NXT. The NXT tag team titles. Axiom and Nathan Frazier defend against the Street Profits. Uh, no contest. The Street or the Bloodline comes down and Rex House. Uh, eight Meltzers. Then we get the debut of Julia versus Chelsea Green. Three Meltzers. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. North American title. Oba Femi, and he's waiting for a challenger. And Tony D'Angelo brings him a challenger, and that challenger will be Hammerstone from TNA. Good match. 11 Meltzers. Oba Femi wins with good match. Ridge Holland versus Duke Hudson. Four Meltzers. Ridge Holland picks up the W. TNA Knockouts Challenge. Jordan Grace defends her title against Saul Ruka. Jordan Grace wins. Or no, Jordan Grace doesn't win. Um, lights go out and she gets attacked by Rosemary and Wendy Chu. And Wendy Chu puts Jordan Grace in the Cobra Clutch and puts her out. Last man standing, number one contenders match for NXT title. The, the title match that's going to be in the premiere on CW in like three weeks or so. Pete Dunn versus Trick Williams. Trick Williams win. Um, three Meltzers. I, I don't understand why we have a last man standing match with like 10 minutes left on the show. Makes no sense. You could have had any other kind of stipulation match. Doesn't have to be a match that should be long and drawn out. All right, next we're on to SmackDown on Friday the 13th, September 13th, 2024. Triple H comes out, welcomes everybody to the SmackDown, a new era of SmackDown on USA, WWE Undisputed Title, in a steel cage. Cody Rhodes defends against Solo Sokoa. 
Cody Rhodes picks up the victory. Cody Rhodes got busted open in the match. Um, Cody wins. And then the bloodline comes down, attacks him. And then Roman comes and makes the save. And then, which is pretty much the deal. And then Jacob, it looks like Jacob and Roman are going to face off. And then Solo pulls him out of the cage. And the girls of Destiny jump Cody and Roman and they clean them out pretty quick. Eight Meltzers. Me Chin versus Piper Niven. Three Meltzers. Me Chin wins, which I think is bullshit, but whatever. Eight Town Down Under versus Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. Four Meltzers. Nothing out of the ordinary happened in the match that I didn't expect to happen. Nick Ellis interview. He's There's a challenge from Solo to face... Cody and Roman at Bad Blood in a tag team match between him Solo versus Solo and Jacob Fatu. Cody doesn't want to sign it, though. He thinks the bloodline is Roman's problem. Carmelo Hayes versus Andrade. Another excellent match. 20 Meltzers! LA Knight comes out. Andrade picks up the W. And LA Knight comes out and tells him he's going to defend the U.S. title next week against Andrade. Roman Reigns comes to the ring, and Nick Aldis is there with him, is talking, and then Cody comes out, and they talk to one another, and then Solo and Jacob come out, and while while they're standing in the aisleway, the girls of Destiny come out and attack them from behind, and they clear them out, and then Roman and Cody both sign the contract for the match of Play of Blood. Our gang was a decent week this week. Um, premieres are getting ready to both season premieres were all at SmackDown. Um, it was good. And then XT was pretty good. XT was a little, there was a little, they, they, they should have cut one or two of them matches out, but whatever. Made that last man standing match longer, but it is what it is. All right, gang, if you like the videos, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell if you'll know when we're posted. As always, thank you for watching Big T's Wrestling Reviews and Recaps and what have you, and have a great day.